Hey everybody, welcome back to some Borno after almost four months, I think. Last video I did was in July. And after that video, I think I only played one single actual match, and that was when this strike team had access to uh, the French divisions. I played like one match. I didn't record it even, I think. Anyway, I played a month. I don't know too much about what has changed. I know obviously the new content, but other than that, I don't know what changed or if anything changed really. Also, hold on. I might be really, really loud. Give me a second. I'm sorry. No, I'm not really loud. Huh. Okay. Weird. Anyway. Uh, but yeah. We'll just see. Obviously, I can already see. Okay. Minimap has changed a bit. Hold on. Let me check the filters right here. No, filters are... Okay. I'm just going slightly into the red here on OBS. So sorry for the unprofessional behavior here. So we're playing the second... Is it second? Second Infantry Division, British, as well as, I think, some German stuff here, yeah, not a lot, though. I think it's like, yeah. We're playing against Karma, we're gonna get wrecked, but who cares. Um, I think something changed about this, hold on. Interface, labels I have made, yeah, no, okay. Let's just keep everything. Um, again, I don't know how much has changed, how much got fixed, how much didn't get fixed, I don't know. Uh, fifth to Panzer Division, I actually kind of roughly know what I'm gonna go up against, but we'll see. I think you can now move ATGMs into buildings, ATGM infantry. But I do not know for certain. Oh, wait, I don't need to cap my home, se home sector anymore. <laughs> well, I remembered that one. Uh, the map is unchanged. Unfortunately, I definitely think this. Uh, well, uh, we can't. Definitely think this map needs some zone adjustments. I've, me and many others have voiced that opinion quite a lot. But, um, I think uh, huge map making and all that is not as easy as it might look, so I think zone adjustments might not be the fastest or easiest thing to do, so I don't know. What do we have to expect here? A lot of Leopard 2A3s, uh, which I think are gonna outclass our challengers. Let's get some Milans around. Um, I would like these MG squads. I have no idea if they are good or not. But let's just get some, because they're cheap. Get one in there. Get one in there. Like one. In Looking for enemy planes. Okay. That's a toad rapier. Pretty good anti healer range. No, don't unload. Unload the position, please. Actually, I unload like in the back here. Let's also get a man pet squad. Yeah, I need I need some AA over here as well. Sorry for being like very slow here, but again, I haven't played in such a long time. I have no idea what to do. So I got plenty of points. Let's get more me than once. Because simply because they're a bit cheaper. And uh, if I lose them in the opener because I'm bad at positioning, then yeah, I don't lose that many points. Simple as. That's the wrong unit. Um, at least it's a map I know. Did you get... You know, you, you just attack more like this way. What else do we want? What's the difference even? 24 AP, 17? Yeah, it's a big difference. I don't have enough deployment points? Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? Get rid of... Get rid of you. Let's get some of you for the town there. Get uh, one of you. Do we? 
No. Let's get... Where's... SAS! Let's get an SAS code, of course! Oh wait, they are forward deployable. <gasps> they have for oh, I hate this forward deployment. I've remembered. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't like this. Um, now, in that case... No, 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 no. I wanted to cancel this. I didn't want to tell you where to go. get this oh man i'm sorry but i, I didn't really want to get into stuff like that but i still think forward deployment is not a good idea but anyway ready to lose <laughs> playing as li the little field marshal right oh granted last time we played against him where we won okay hold on the that the uh, yeah hold on i might be a little bit more quiet and hopefully a little bit more bearable okay okay this might be a bit better hold on let me adjust it a little bit more okay Sorry for doing this live, but um, yeah. Everyone has orders. Yes, you don't. You don't. Okay. This is a great start already. Like I said, it's a start of mini map. Doesn't look much much better. Mini map before was honestly kind of unusable. Um, I think it even colors now. <laughs> Hold on, that's what uh, I'm. I think Wargame doesn't have them. Not even Wargame does, uh, has its own layouts, does it? My pleasure, sir. Brace yourself. Hey, you finally get the uh, question marks when you have an unidentified unit with this UI setting. Hey. Yeah. Okay, it's colored. In the map. I don't think I should notice, but I just these are the things that you just get used to so much that you don't even remember, you know. And you can't sell this? Okay. Disported us? <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you what can you sell? Saxon you can't sell. Unmark you can sell. Uh, I'm not a fan of this helmet, can I get it? Looks I am listening, Captain. Beware. Enemy nearby. Closing on them, sir. Hadam! Fire! Hook up! Marsh! Ready, sir. Everybody out! Glad to see somebody knows where we're going. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's gonna lie, some of these voice lines. Oh, Fench Bay, they have uh, satchel charges. So. Why are you leaving? Oh, because I right clicked on the Fench Bay. Okay. Um, you have an MG, you can help. Rovers, get sold. They gotta get out there. Elan, you get in the bush here. Oh, you're barely taking any damage, never mind. You're fully. That's another thing, right? If you, if you have multiple squads, you don't see HP, right? Only if you hover over them. Get a Tonk. Get a CV. Oh, there's no time limit. Oh, no. It's probably not gonna go there anyway, but uh... what are you? <laughs> I'm sorry about the the British voice lines. What are? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be like uh, I don't want to insult uh, anyone or something, but it's very very funny. Okay, get out of there. Oh, that's a uh, it's an Apache. Oh my god, they just got wrecked. I don't even know by what. Oh, I've... I'm sorry that I have to mention this, but... I remembered... Ruins and building destruction. Yeah, that's a thing. Fire and maneuver. 
Fortunately, that's a thing. As you come on, sir. Medic! Engage on sight. If the enemy's in range, so are we. Roger, redeploy. Ah, ready, sir. Fall back. It's a warriors. I don't know how good they are. But we'll see. Beware. Enemy nearby. My pleasure, sir. Backwards. What's the range of javelins? Like two four or something? Andrew, get two four. Down. My pleasure, sir. At least you can check the distance even if you have no weapon, so that's good. Compared to war game. Ready to fire, sir. Everybody out. Platoon formed and ready. Ready! Really? This javelin has no line of sight somehow? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What the? Second platoon. I'm sorry again, but this is way too funny. Oh man, let's get some of these MG squads. Again, no idea how good any of these units are. Literally never played this division. And you know, plenty of things probably changed as well. That's artillery. Right, artillery. I should use artillery. I heard artillery is really strong. Uh, let's also get some more recon. Get some mortar spam. As you come on, sir. How? Oh, it's is it hovering? Oh, it's hovering low. Okay. Well, can you like? Oh, did they? Did Eugen finally manage to allow you to move around helicopters at low altitude? Okay, that's pretty stupid. It's, uh, but it, and again, it didn't doesn't look like I took any noticeable damage either. So. Ah, oh, that's the other thing. You only get like the reload thing shown on the bottom of the unicard. You don't get current accuracy. It's not something yes, that sir. I like. I don't have, I have like. Well, actually, I should have decent other detection. Do we have some? As you come on, sir. It's a two A four. Right, two A four. I got renamed to two A fours. Some of them did at least. Stealth of ADGM teams is really much worse compared to war game, huh? Let's see what this AA is like. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got destroyed. I'll load you there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of A. We still kill the tank. Kind of bullshit, not gonna lie. You can get sold, I want all three of you help out. Yeah, I gotta move in there. This is red two, enemy spotted. It always comes down to the infantryman and his rifle. Assault formation on me. Waiting for instructions. Is it a plane? No. Oh that's not good. Get like these two guys. Get like one of you. Although there is a lot of uh, AA. But did, did an auto cannon. Oh, I lost my challenger, of course. I wasn't looking. I was like at the front line with no recon. Yeah. I killed an enemy French fast, but I'm killing something at least. Move you over before you get sniped by something. This gazelle over to spot stuff. So, oh, it looks. Come on, let's go quickly. 
What is this? Why are helicopters always broken in Mugen games? <laughs> oh, you're almost dead. Right, I, hold on, I have, I have a lot of uh, mortars here. So the looks just absolutely wrecked my uh, M41 up front, uh, M48, sorry. So that's cool. Just got a chieftain here. Sorry, challenger. I hear you loud and clear. Off your ass and on your feet. Best move. Need a raid? Everybody out. Yes, sir. AG, ten degrees up. Fire by all. Just fire for now. Another two eight three. Those are good parts. Oh, they're almost empty. I think the fob is supposed to get back at, uh, added back into the game, so I don't know. Honestly, just attacking for all of you. I don't care. <laughs> I have no recon here. Move the gazelles over. I think I'm just gonna get another challenger because one on one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get destroyed by a two A three. I bet you are. Oh, this counter battery. Ouch! I'm not used to counter battery or like artillery actually doing anything. Oh man. Okay, well, uh, yeah, okay. Understandable. Oh, you're supposed to get in there. No oh, pioneers there. Sure, use your L58 or whatever your gun is. You'll probably stay at long ranges actually. DMG teams. I don't know, are DMG teams new? They might be new. You use like two rockets left, don't you? Uh, do I have like anything on like very high vets? No, let's get some air mobiles. Probably help out there as well. Oh my, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, I, I bet you are hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just too funny. For like no good reason. Get some supply. So much stuff, dude. I feel like getting, I, I don't know if it's just me if or it's, if it's the map or something else, I feel like getting line of sight on helicopters is just so much more awkward here, but it might again, could just be me. Of course I haven't played this in, like I said, in quite a while, so... You move over there. Maybe I can scare them a bit with those empty rockets. Careful. No, no, don't unload. Uh, at least they reloaded the in very good. In war game, they would have been such a hassle to get them back in there. Uh, let's just get a tank to be in there. Combat speed, driver. 
Oi, oi mid. Oi, Petua. Captain. I am listening, Captain. Platoon formed and ready. This is Red Two. Enemy spotted. Get more infantry. I hear you loud and clear. Brace yourself. Oh my God! So much stuff. Oh yeah, my prime artillery. Ooh. I'm tell you targets, I should say. Look at this. Are you empty? You're empty. Back up, back up. All ammo spent. The captain of this group welcome you aboard. Oh no, stop going for this two or three. We're engaging. Take a five ready. An enemy height. Height is it. Second for two. Let's go. Radio check. Red one six over. I want to get supply here. Uh, I think I'm really losing my foothold here. Platoon formed and ready. It's hot here. Get a rape here, normal one. Uh, supply helo. Oh yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, it looks like the MG squads are like really bad at close range, given how quickly they demolished my uh, MG squad. Come on, they want me, baby. I want to get an HE bomber. Two, enemy spotted. Andrew, get there. Oh, those are flames scots, that's not good. Oh, I bet you are. This is red two, enemy spotted. It always comes down to the infantryman and his right. I should not have sent it. Oh, Oh, I killed the Gabbard though with my M48s. And these buildings are gone. Oh, look, did you notice how much the FPS dropped there? God damn. Lost my CV. I don't know to what, if it was like. Oh, okay, it was this. We're badly hurt. First, did I not buy? I did not buy new javelins. But about the rapier here. Get rid of those flamers. Second platoon. This is red two. Um, again, I'm having way too much fun if the with uh, the Brits. It always comes down to the infantryman and his rifle. Medic! Everybody, check your ammo. I should bomb this next once my bomber is ready. Come on, man, what? 
Can you really maneuver them around at low altitude? I don't know how... I haven't really checked it yet. Should probably get into cover. We'll find them, and then we'll kill them. See, change altitude. Build is destroyed. Well, that's good. Everybody, check your ammo. Just get me out of here. Oh shit. Radio check. Red one six over. Fuck me. Yeah, they were bunched up together. No cover. <laughs> Ugh. Oof, oof, that hurt. Tank ready. Copy, sir. Waiting for air or ground fire. Okay, hold on. Damn, that was oh, yeah. Well, that changes things massively. Holy sh... Shoot. Like, obviously, it makes sense from, like, a, if you think about it, that the helicopters can do that at low altitude, right? But, like, that sh compared to Wargame, that's just such a big change to their survivability. Like, that's crazy. Like, actually crazy. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay, okay. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello, Javelins. Oh, wait, you're still alive? What are you? Oh, you're too, <laughs> you're drunk. <laughs> oh, did you get like a side shot on this with your law? Am I actually gonna kill this with the basic law? That would have been so hilarious. Oh, Javelin, get out of there. Oh no, don't get out of there. I need you. Just get me out of here. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Oh no, oh the artillery. That's why you should see this is why it's same thing in the war game, right? This is why you should never like keep your infantry bunched up all the time. How many have? Oh, only five, huh? Oh, no. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of units being stunned, being able to move. Over. Of course, it is much easier. What the heck? Oh, this is my gazelle. It is much easier to stun units here compared to war game, right? At least it feels like it. But at the same time, I feel like I'm more of a fan of stuns were like harder to achieve. Um, or mainly happened by when you like bomb units or like they're under heavy artillery, right? Uh, heavy artillery, artillery fire. And, but they're, they're unable to move so that you get actually properly rewarded with stunning unit. Whereas right now you, you can somewhat, I mean, not necessarily safely, right? But you, you can't just move them around normally. I think they get a speed penalty, but they can still move around and just don't fire back. Not a fan. Yeah. Oh well, that's GG anyway. <laughs> Honestly, KD isn't even that. Wait, oh there they are. Nah, KD isn't even that bad. Everything uh, con, uh, you know, everything consider considered. I'm, you know, I did reasonably well in the early-ish game. I think. Um, obviously, those two Challenger two losses were stupid. So was the kid on this two. Cluster planes in this game, not a fan. Oh, that, look at this warrior, man! Ooh. Overall, though, still, I I'm just having. Tr I don't know if it's if if it's a me thing, right? But coming from war game, I just ha really have issues like with um. 
guessing where I have line of sights, where I have to move to get line of sight. Of course, Wargame has some issues there as well sometimes, especially like on Punch Bowl, right, on the one side of the map. But to me, in Wargame, it is a lot clearer as to what line of sight is, you know, how line of sight is being blocked here. And I don't, and I'm not just talking about helos, right? But, um, it's, it's one of my biggest gripes, and I can't really put my finger on what exactly it is, which is why I'm like, it might just be a me thing. The whole... It's, it's, I find it hard to grasp what's firing at what. And despite the game being sometimes a lot more transparent than war game is, right? Especially if you look at some of the Unicard sets, I still feel like I get less information, you know when looking at a battlefield and seeing what units are doing. Despite despite you literally having arrows of where your unit is going to move or what its current orders are, I still feel like it's much more of a guessing game. I have much less impact on units, you know, doing anything and just have to hope they are in line of sight or something. And, you know, just at the end of the day, I just, you know, I'm just going to attack move them or just move them forward and hope everything goes well. That w that's what it feels like, at least. But again, maybe it's just a me thing, and it's because I just haven't played a lot, especially in reading the past few months. Um, and yeah, overall, of course, some kings have been ironed out. You know, you actually do get like a question mark under if you spot un, uh, spot an unidentified unit with this icon setting, for example. There's still many things that I have issues with, but I don't really want to delve into them. I still don't think I'm gonna really play its multiplayer over Wargamer Dragon. Because people keep asking me every now and then, hey, where, why no more Warno? And I'm essentially. TLDR is multiplayer wise, I think Red Dragon is just offers more to me, what I want. But yeah, that was the, second, the British 2nd Infantry Division. On the same old two lakes. Still needs some work. We didn't really lose because of the map or anything like that, right? We were just the worst player, obviously. But I still think the map needs some work, which is a shame because I think the map layout, like the map topography, I don't know. If you ignore the zones, right? The actual, you know, buildings cover that that I really like. I think it's good. It's just the zone layout. It's really trash. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't expect a whole lot more Warno multiplayer, at least, in the immediate future. Um, but yeah, I'll hopefully still see you next time in my working videos. Bye-bye.